Trying to go for the kill. Little bit of a deep dive, honestly. We know there's additional Panzer IVs here, so that's why it's so risky. Gets... Oh, almost gets the kill. It is decrewed. Though he's smart enough to at least go for the kill. Unfortunately, he uh, misses the shot. Panzer IV is realizing, hey, there's a half-dead Cromwell in the back of our lines. Maybe we should go kill it. Hello everyone, this is GreyShot17 here bringing you another COH2 replay. This is a 3v3 on Red Ball Express. We have three Axis, three allies, including two Brits and a Soviet versus a Vermont and two OKW. Now someone here is a Beef Urchon or higher RNG God supporter, so that's why I'm casting it today on a Saturday. If you want to submit your own replay, you can do so via GreyShotProductions at gmail.com. And if you want to try to increase your chance of being featured on 4K uh, Saturday's uh, replay day, you can do so. Just check out my Patreon, support me there. And if you just want early access to videos, stuff like that, put down that support and you can check out early access to content shoutouts at the end of the video, uh, both verbal and written, along with some other nice little bonuses, including Discord access. So, with that shoutout underway, let's get to this game. We have General 43, Varus, Jew, I said Jew, but it's Goo, my apologies, uh, Joan of Arc, Sunny, and Ranger 412. Um, once again, whoever is here as a Patreon supporter who I will reveal at the end, in case you don't know, thank you so very much. And let's get to this game. Oh my god, already the Axis are going long range with the Yag Tiger and Elephant. Not a bad play, honestly. Have very you know, Both these doctrines have very long range of uh, sight and, or and units, um, which again keeps a uh, good distance and uh, is, helps counteract the British's overwhelming superiority in terms of Brent's and firepower at longer ranges. Once, once they're upgraded, they can be a real hassle to deal with. Anyway, Sonny is going with the Pencilful Slayers. We did, again, I actually recently discovered this with Hans, if you haven't been checking out the Elite uh, re uh, cast that we did in terms of the Elite um, Invitational Tournament. Those are not as good as Volk Squads, They're unless upgraded. They're really not. So, just a little heads up. Now, it looks like the Brits immediately retreated because of the MG. Not a bad idea. Why waste manpower? Uh, meanwhile, it looks like the British in mid doing a lot better. Grab munitions. And actually, it looks like we have some Soviets going in for this point. However, the Axis are going in for the fuel, so the Axis might control both fuel in the next minute, which would be a pretty big uh-oh if that was the case. Storm Pioneers going in after the British infantry. Coming around the flank, um, maybe trying to overwhelm the Soviets who are advancing instead of capturing the point. That's a big mistake in my opinion. I think he's trying to go and throw a satchel on the MG, but luckily Ranger sees this and is going to reposition. But Varus is very close, although not, not enough. So very close, but not enough for a satchel. Which would be instrumental in killing this. Now, it looks like he just will have enough right now, but he's already retreating. And he's just going to back off. Again, you have to push in when you have the special, because then the satchel would work. Otherwise, you're just going to be in a situation where then you're retreating. And you're hoping to God that the, in this case, certain pioneers don't kill your unit. But luckily, the force is able to block sight, make him escape. Meanwhile, if German force is coming on in, but the Brits stop his advance. But right now, the big thing is the flanks are in need of some coverage again usually i recommend going left and or right on this map with two men and that way the other player is in a 3v3 environment can then cover also it looks like this guy with lend lease so yeah that's why he has the double mortar they're fine they're they're essentially comparable to the american mortar but i do recommend more likely if you would go the um how do i how do i put this if you would go something more in lines of a uh, a, do a doctrine that is, I don't know, I, I, I find these, this doctrine not to be as good, but at least it's a 3v3 environment. A lot of these units can be very good solo, but combined with like a large grouping of enemy forces have less of an effect. The mortars themselves are fine, but like uh, the Achilles tank destroyer I just find a little bit up in the air compared to something like Weird Incendiary, I think he's trying to have both. Also, Pentaful Slave is just coming up the flank. Literally just decapping everything. Nice job. But yeah, I just find it like if you comparable to like Vanguard operations or something where it does it's is so much good in terms of overall firepower and infantry support and stuff like that. I'm like, why would you choose this if you're trying to go for a heavy hitters? But we'll, we'll see. Maybe this will be a, the, the the like what he needs early game to win. Good job with the flamethrower, managing to hold him off, and also the penal troops. Good mortar hits as well. 
Mortar's still alive, but very close to dying. Uh, so may need one to retreat that. Unfortunately, with the building here, he remember, you can't fire through it. So Pioneer's just gonna have a field day just annihilating those men on the retreat as well. Penal troops pushing back the Panzer Fusiliers quite effectively. They're gonna hide behind the cover, try to hold on. And again, directional, so he's making sure his direction is uh, pretty much better off so he can hit off the penals and that way the penals don't just run up and keep hanging from the side All right penal troops trying to move in but pioneers really good close range and uh, with the grenadiers Yeah, these guys are gonna need to fall back again. He's kind of setting his units in piecemeal not the thing you need to do good job by uh, Ranger though trying to lock down a lot of this territory. Unfortunately though Because he's focused more in mid the Brits came back and they came back swinging Upgrade uh, it with medics so that we can heal up and that way he doesn't have this issue where his men are just very weak. Um, now luckily the Germans typically will build a medical base, but I don't see it. Hmm. Usually that will heal their men. Otherwise the MG is going to be at like 10 to well, 15% health for a good chunk of the game. Now again, the Germans push did decap a bunch of territory which is going to delay the allies for a little bit. Kubel coming on the flank. Hot damn, good movement, Joan of Arc. Also, you went with Overwatch Doctrine, so maybe some Goliaths. Oh, give me some explosions. Please give me some explosions. Mortar, and not Mortar, Bofer is going down in mid. Actually, not a ter not the best spot, but not a terrible spot. The reason is there's a lot of cover, so it's hard to hit, but it can still hit everything else. So that's a not too bad at all. Meanwhile, we have, uh, once again, a Bofer on right. With a British sniper as well, I didn't even see that. Uh, we have Pounds Full Slayers with G43 rifles, making them very, very effective against British infantry. But if the British infantry can get the five man squads plus the upgraded Brens, they will be really comparable, if not equal and or slightly better than these units typically, especially in heavy cover. Um, because again, they'll just be able to do a lot more damage overall to these guys. Especially if they get like artillery flares, which they did. They can throw in and make sure they remove the cover that they're, the enemy is currently in and slowly advance. Again, the Brit infantry is great at just locking down, holding, slowly advance, slowly advance, slowly advance. Where a lot of these other units are good for like flanking or picking off weak links um, with their rifles. What the hell is this? The Kubo is go- Joan of Arc going in from behind, cutting off a lot of allied territory. Now, unfortunately, we don't have encirclement, but I don't think they know that. And this Kubo is saying, F it. The OKW can do encirclement. It is. Right now, the Allies are down to four fuel and six munitions. Kubel trying to make a desperate escape. Meanwhile, the British infantry along with the base MGs are opening fire. No! Kubel's charging into the base! And unfortunately, perishes next to it. And while the Allies recapture that territory, it's once again going to delay them a little bit. And they give the Axis a little bit of time to fortify. Put down bunkers. Re uh, I'm assuming, yeah, keel up the MGs. And prepare for a counterattack. I assume on right, but with that bow for there, I don't know how you're gonna do it. We also have a mortar pit as well. We have two Brits that are looks like emplacing very well. Flamethrower pushing the Germans out of their heavy cover. Looks like we have a Soviet counterattack, but Luke's coming in from behind. Bofer not having it, and unfortunately pushing back the Panzer too. Remember, it's a light vehicle, so that Bofer will be able to shred it if it's able to fire a full volley at it. However, However, again, one thing that it could do is fire through the brush and trying to hit the unit. But then again, the Bofer could do the same thing. But if they're not paying attention, then also this little guy could come in. Uh, it's a Goliath. Now, technically, there should be a lot more to this unit if we're talking about historical, if we're going to be historically accurate. But effin, who needs to be historically accurate? We got a Goliath on our team. Anyway, I'm assuming what you might do is hide it in the brush. Not a bad idea. Always try to aim it in the direction in which you can charge the enemy in. Don't have it maybe forced to be turned around because that will be uh, seconds of time in which that could be very easily killed. Um, in terms of like trying to get placed, make sure you place it before. Any case, uh, British infantry trying to advance, but the bunkers there we know, so we can't do it that. He can't push up that much. He doesn't have the second building as well in terms of getting the armor. So right now. This infantry, while effective, is not going to be able to do enough damage via the artillery flares or in general because of no upgrades to really push up. Meanwhile, this thing is all oh, revealing itself. Bofer's like, mine. Does manage to get three kills on the Royal Engineers. He is quickly healing, though. So we're going to need to see better gameplay from that unit. What we could see, though, is maybe a smoke drop from a, like a support gun or something right here and then allow it to come in and kill both of them. That could be good. 
Massive German counterattack. We have Pontifical Slayers upgraded with three G43 rifles. Double support guns, mind you, as well. But they're in mid. They're far away from a lot of these emplacements. Though it looks like we have fire coming down from these uh, Volk squads. Again, they're throwing incendiary. He's doing dir uh, direct fire to attack ground at this position. Alas, he might... Yeah, the Verkenwerfer is firing through. He's trying to stop them, but uh, yeah, this would be a lot better deterrent. He doesn't have the, the again, the second building unlocked, which again, which you need absolutely for that second artillery piece to open fire. Now luckily one should be enough to cause the damage to this and push them back. Just because one shell kills the squad if directly hit. So it has to worry. Wow, very lucky the tree took the hit. The Lorax will protect, I guess, the German AT gun. Sure, why not? Anyway, uh, G... Sorry, just... Oh, God. Uh, T-70 moving on up. Uh... Pushing back a lot of the German infantry. They have no AT. He's just getting it now. Now, with these G-43, uh, upgrades, he still has the AT, uh, grenade. So, again, they have to worry about getting too close. But the T-70 is just keeping his distance and popping shots. We all have guard sweeps upgrade with uh, with uh, DPs as well, which would cause extra damage. But this T-70 does not care. He's just shredding that infantry quite effectively. Mortar trying to hit the unit as well, but again, kind of missing right now. We have a plane in the air, but the Bofur is shooting it down like it just don't care. Once again, for Kenworth, for firing through the brush and hitting the target. They've actually destroyed a lot of trees, so never mind. The Lorax might be a little pissed now. Uh, he speaks for the trees, and unfortunately... Uh, I don't think he can really protect against the German and or uh, British army from really tearing down any more of those trees. Anyway, uh, T-70 uh, continuing to push. Again, he's trying to also do attack ground to push these guys. A lot of attack ground through the forest. Uh, double support guns are pretty much vulnerable right now. I don't... S oh, wait. There's a ton of mines right there. Did he place a lot of them on top? No, he's just one. It, with, the, with the shadows look like it. He's going to hit it, I think. Oh, my God. Ever so barely dodges. But Panzer IV coming back up. It, oh my, can we get a lucky counter? Can we get a lucky shot of the Panzer IV detonating the mine? That would be amazing. You can do that, absolutely. Bofur looks like it was killed by the Verkenwerfer, so very good job with that thing uprooting two uh, very powerful buildings. Again, you have to worry about it. If you're going to place it, uh, a lot of those emplacements, you have to make sure you can cover yourself. He's being torn apart by this constant attack. Now, luckily, the British infantry will stop the Panzer II, but with the Volk squads moving in and incendiary attack on the uh, mortar pit, uh, mortars, it's going to push them back quite effectively. Now, he's just going to walk back. I don't think he's going to be able to hold, especially with uh, Sunny's forces coming on in, possibly grabbing a free Vickers, which is a great machine gun to just steal from uh, the enemy. Meanwhile, this guy, we have Goo. Uh, God damn it. I... I, mean, I feel actually even worse the fact they called it Jew at the beginning. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Anyway, Goo. Uh, why do I want to say Gru from Despicable Me? Which, by the way, the first one's a good movie. And then, like Ice Age, it goes downhill. But, uh, okay, maybe not as bad as Ice Age, but still. Um, anyway, a Sniper is still continuing. Can we get actually kill? We do. Ranger loses quite a number of men in that push. Though, Panzer IV moving on in. Counterattacking. Missing the shot, though. Do we have any AT? Uh, in the far back, not moving up. Panzer IV going to continue the attack. At least this British player is more entrenched. Luckily, the Soviets coming on in to assist. Getting a, quite a number of great shots on the Panzer IV Slayers pushing them back. We do have for Ken Werfer. Lining up a shot, getting a great hit on the pan on the T-70. An AT grenade is also being fired. Going to cripple the tank for a short period of time until engineers can come on up. We have a lot of infantry coming on in. Once again, the slow push with the Ken Werfer. Very nice to see. Because with that, he's going to slowly be driving the last fortification which is the heel point away from the Brits grenade going off could be a good hit is get three models Panzer II not opening fire hiding behind the brush most likely waiting for something uh whatever he's waiting for uh, maybe I don't I'm not entirely sure maybe he's waiting for the infantry to get weaker I don't know but yeah they're gonna fire pot shots and easily push it back meanwhile Panzer IV in yeah can be shot by the uh, AT gun. If the Royal Engineers advanced or even the Sniper gave... Si oh, wait. Sniper moved back. Okay. Gradiers and Mortar just lying in wait. Bad idea. Uh, this Mortar is 
easily still in range of the mortar pit. I, I don't know. I would have maybe waited a little bit or moved it a, a little further back. Because I know you're trying to hit this, but the mortar pit is already lining up the shot and returning fire. Yeah, so it, 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 it's, it's counterattacking and already it, it's hitting the mortar pit. Now, luckily, the other mortar is doing a little bit more damage. It is repositioning itself, but I think the mortar is still going to cause a little damage to it. And it does. Bring it down, probably 40% health. So it's at, uh, not, it's not doing great. And again, it has to keep moving in order to stay out of sight. Now, I do believe this thing is still in range. It's just only one can fire now, which is slightly better. All right. Anyway, uh, we have a new Ford assembly being made, but this guy's literally falling apart. General 43 being pushed back. Volk squads in, uh, almost a dot and moving on in to capture this point. Meanwhile, we have, a, uh, combat engineers trying to take mid. Again... VP point wise, the allies are doing a lot better than the Axis, but the Axis overall have, a, I, I believe, a way larger army. Yeah, they're in the low 50s. A allies are in the, wow, okay, General's in the gutter. But he's in the gutter, but he has a thousand manpower. So he's not that far in the gutter. I think he's trying to save up for a big spam of something. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what. I'm assuming maybe assault section, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. Volk Squad's coming on in on the Soviet player. Gonna cuck him a little bit because of the Panzerfaust come. Oh wait, no, they killed the- Oh, they keep killing the man trying to shoot the Panzerfaust. That's hilarious. It's like the guy would come up, the model would die. The, the next one would come up, the model would die. The next one would come up, the model would die. And you can do that. You can absolutely can kill the model firing over and over and over again. Good grenade uh, on both sides, killing a lot of men. Unfortunately, the Panzer II might- No, actually, he's not focusing on the unit. Penal's coming in to take the point, but with no AT, this thing is just going to shred him. T-70, though, coming on in to fire some pop shots. Uh, not the greatest engagement in terms of overall health, but it's doing fine. Meanwhile, it's a domino effect. Right now, Sunny's just pushing in in mid because, again, the Soviets had to reposition to fight off Joan of Arc. Meanwhile, Sniper gets killed by the Grenadiers, but the British Infantry doing a lot of damage toward them and pushing them back. Mortar Pit and the Bofer are still alive, doing quite well. Looks like the Mortar had to be pulled back. Another Panzer IV moving on in. Not a lot of AT, but we do have a Cromwell? Is that Cromwell or Comet? Yeah, it's Cromwell. I'm like, I, th I want to say it. Not, I'm 90% sure it was Cromwell, but sometimes, you know, I, uh, uh, as, as many of you know if you see my replays, I go blind and unable to see what's going on, which sucks for a commenter, but, you know, it, it happens. I, I start questioning myself, not, no idea what's going on, you know, everything just goes dark as, as, as my stress increases, it's, it's a whole thing, it's a whole thing. Anyway, moving on from that in my deep, solemn depression pit, anyway, uh, support guns being pushed back by the British artillery, again, both Vet 2, Vet 3, but very low on health, I would recommend going back, getting them healed up. Cromwell advancing to the enemy. No idea why he did that, but his ass is currently facing the Panzer IV. Luckily, he gets a lot of good shots on said Panzer IV, but the Volk Squad's moving on in. I'm assuming for um, <coughs> Panzerfaust. Luckily, British infantry are able to deploy a red red flare for artillery. Stop in advance. Cromwell, though, needs to be very cautious. Also, use that damn manpower, General. Get your men back up. Seriously. Now, a AT grenade is most likely is in this thing's future, I would assume, unless he's not paying attention. But luckily, he's still focusing on, well, vehicles, so, you know, maybe want to turn that off. Although, lucky shot, lucky shot there. Up, oh, can you able to kill on the retreat? Nope, the tractor saves the Pensiful Slayers on the retreat. Meanwhile, uh, we got some uh, Jaeger Lave Tree squads moving on in from behind. We have an artillery piece being placed by the Soviets. He went Soviet Combined Arms. Again, very good for support, very good infantry. And by support, I mean airstrikes and recon. So, artillery coming in. Amazing shot kills the for Kedwifer and helps kill the G43. Actually, that's, that's more men, I would assume. How many Pensiful Slayers does he even have? Oh, now he's hitting his own men. He has one squad. That means he killed two of them here. Holy mackerel. That's a big F for Sonny. Good job for the Soviets. Yeah, nine kills. He absolutely killed two squads. So very good job. Very good shot in that regard. Meanwhile, Panzer IV is advancing, but the mines are stopping him with the Bofors shredding the infantry. Allies making a nice small comeback off the Axis uh, 
failed attacks. British forces holding the line firmly in there. Yet, yeah, firmly. And actually, my counterattack. We can see the Germans try to hold this front, but with the infantry, as you can see, retreating. It's not looking well because there's two Panzer IVs. A T gun could move up. And again, this would be a good time to move it up and use recon to just keep smacking those Panzers. But the Panzer II hi uh, hiding around the corners, just popping off infantry where it can. Cromwell, though, having none of it, trying to come in to attack. Once again, so much manpower. You could be absolutely using it. Did he just run over his own men? No, okay, I, was, I got worried there. Also, he could use the speed to run him over along the side. Double Panzer Faust does cripple it. You're, you're retreating to the Royal Engineers, but it's retreating forward toward this base. Uh, that's a little weird. Why didn't, would it retreat backwards? But okay, pathfinding for the win. Meanwhile, support guns back up to full health, uh, returning fire on the penal troops that are trying to push forward but those, it's pushing forward on a panzer 4 remember the okw variant has better armor which is why you can see here it automatically has the armored skirts where these ones do not but it's weird it's it, it, it in my opinion because i don't know why you would advance with these without at now again he has an sc-85 he has guard troops with dps which shred armor even heavy armor has to worry about this stuff not as much as let's say rangers or paratroopers but the AT equivalent to guard troops is still very, very good. It can definitely hold back armor and do quite a number of quite a number of damage. Artillery is coming down this sector. Actually, no, over here in this sector, because artillery shots like both here. Meanwhile, flamethrower units got pulled back out of mid. Once again, we have a flank coming in from Joan of Arc. He's deploying Panzer IVs in mass. It looks like a lot of Panzer IVs have been deployed in this game. No Panthers, no King Tigers. That's a little bit of a difference. I mean, same thing with the British. It's mostly Cromwell's. Okay, we have an S-85 here, but a, I would. Yeah, Goo is also deployed to Cromwell. It's it's different. We also have a mattress being deployed. You gonna fire it? Firing it right here would be kind of big because you could hit both support guns. A lot of uh, British and Soviet infantry trying to push in this front. T-70 helping kill the infantry in mid. Meanwhile, the MG is gonna hit that. Oh wait, grenade going off. Could we get a lucky hit? Squad wipe. There we go. Two, no, three models dead. And the Panzerful Slayers get pushed, actually pretty much murdered in mid. Uh, same thing with that MG. Panzer Force quickly diverting to mid to try to stop the British advance. But alas, they don't care. I would assume throw artillery, maybe. Also, there is some mines. Cromwell coming in. General trying to help out his ally, finally. God damn. Trying to go for the kill. Little bit of a deep dive, honestly. We know there's additional Panzer IVs here, so that's why it's so risky. Gets, oh, almost gets the kill. It is decrewed, though he's smart enough to at least go for the kill. Unfortunately, he uh, misses the shot. Panzer IVs realizing, hey, there's a half-dead Cromwell in the back of our lines. Maybe we should go kill it. Gets the kill, but uh, Cromwell needs to deploy smoke. Up, oh, support gun cock. Oh no, he just drives through it. Never mind. Using its speed, trying to get out of there. Drop smoke. Nope, not enough to, not enough. Panzer Force get the kill, but still, it's fine. As the British have deployed a mattress to return fire in the sector, hitting everything, but doing really nothing. It's it's doing small amounts of damage. Maybe your lucky rocket hit. Yeah, it did. I mean, did some damage, but didn't really kill anything. Meanwhile, Volk Squad's being pushed back. Cromwell and T70 still here. Double Bofer in mid. That's a risky gamble right there, General. Oh, never mind. He's built three Bofers. He's building so many Bofers. Why are you building so many Bofers? Why? Guys, I have this great plan. Nothing but Bofers. We're going to build a wall of Bofers across the entire map. Meanwhile, Panzer IVs, which can kill Bofers. Bofers will do damage to it. Don't get me wrong. But they'll win in a fight. They will win. Meanwhile, SAR artillery is going on in with a massive German counterattack in the region. Meanwhile, uh, his Cromwell is busy sitting in mid. I would really... I mean, luckily, the AT gun is pushing back the Panzer IVs and another one's being brought up. But, yeah, that's a lot of infantry right there. Maybe you want to deal with that. Unfortunately, with all the smoke, it's going to make it hard to hit. Though, Cromwell coming in just running them all over would be a good idea. 
Is Katusha coming in? Oh, it is! Uh, but the Grand Ears are moving up. Where is this guy's Cromwell? It's just sitting here. Dude, you could easily run all this shit over. I'm surprised you're not trying to. Yes, I know. I make the I, I make that constant comment. Also, I like how we waited for the Kedusha to be done firing, then retreated. Smart play. But uh, you could easily have moved that in and just literally, because they're so close together, just run three squads over. And the Cromwell has greater speed, which is why you can do that. And because next to four is, you could easily clump them together and just, yeah, smash them. So, yeah, not entirely sure why that wasn't done or why that isn't a thing or anything along those lines meanwhile sport guns vet three respectively sunny just look he's losing his armor he is infantry is pretty much dead but he has those support guns going for him uh ranger has a ton of manpower and fuel most likely saving up for an elephant we have a uh, joan of arc who's just kind of really focused on the well, i don't know why the oh, oh he probably just deployed it and tank back to base because yeah Anyway, uh, that it's just, if you don't set it somewhere, it just automatically would go back to base. Artillery's coming down to stop the Panzer IVs, which back up a little bit, but... Is Bofors are still alive? Dude, you have so much manpower. Have you upgraded your base? Oh, he's okay. He's saving up for a Churchill. A bit of a risky gamble. Oh, no, he's making a 17-pounder! Because F it! That's what you need! I mean, to be fair, maybe a little farther back, and that would actually snipe a lot of the Panzer IVs. But I digress. Uh, at least the Brits have mid and everything along those lines. Panzer II, I just love it. Just sitting here guarding this point, waiting for any infantry to come by. It's like, I've killed so many men and they have me literally on guard duty back here. God dang it. But not a bad idea. Kill stragglers and if they're not sending armor, it would at least be a good waste of the enemy's manpower just sending men. Uh, support guns opening fire. I'm assuming on the infantry here. Missing quite a large margin. The artillery has been uh, redistributed after the last one blew up, I'm assuming from uh, <coughs> Direct Strike. Or maybe the Panzer Force did it, there's no big explosion, so maybe it was the Panzer Force. Meanwhile, Cromwell coming in, there's two Panzer Fours here, so Cromwell needs to back up. Uh, meanwhile, Mass Mount Bridge of Tree having to fall back, does he have a Ford base? He does, but it's a medical position, I believe. Uh, he, so the, these Brit infantry will retreat all the way back to base. A lot of artillery fire, though, coming in. Holy mackerel, doing quite a bit to the armor and infantry alike. Mattresses even getting troops on the retreat and killing some units. Even though it may not be as much as he wanted, it's still enough to where... Oh, wow, actually, it's funny. Good mattress hit actually hurt some of the pioneers as well. It's going to delay their assault, at least cut it down in half. And even, he, even though he has two grenadier squads... The Cromwell should be in a good spot, along with the T-70. 29 kills, by the way. God damn. How much does that loot have? 15. That, as much as that loot has been, like, a bane in general side, Varos' T-70 is easily my favorite light vehicle of this game. Although, Stern Pioneer is easily murdering this Royal Engineer squad, though Cromwell finally putting an end to it. Ex oh, more assault artillery, ladies and gentlemen. More assault artillery. I mean, it did kill the Bofor. I, I won't denounce that, but that is, that's a thing. Meanwhile, uh, Panzer Force coming on in. 17 pounder though, realizing uh, that hey, maybe we should fire upon it. Does and actually with the artillery combined, he's gonna need to pull back the Panzer Fours. Unfortunately for him, he still has a Verkenwerfer right here, which is just gonna pop shots at all these fortifications. It's been a while that, since I've seen a for, uh, British fortify, especially with Lend Lease, because usually they go with fortification doctrine or something. Actually, I have no idea why he went this, because he hasn't deployed anything to do with this doctrine. Except for the mortars. I guess people really like those goddamn mortars. T-70 being hit by the elephant with the... Not even with the scope, it's just using the MG as recon for, you know, hitting the armor. Uh, meanwhile, my, meanwhile, we still have the double panzer four on the right. We still have another... Oh, we have a Yag Tiger! Sure, why not? Yag Tiger and an elephant, because... Fuck it, we need to kill this emplacement. Let's just snipe it with heavy armor. I mean, not a bad idea. The 70 pounder is gonna be hit by multiple. Like, this guy's for Kenworth through the forest is literally been the MVP play of the game. Like, this, like, people forget you can fire through obstacles. And you can, and as you can see, it's gonna kill this. It's gonna kill this thing without them firing a shot. Now, they're firing artillery back here to kill this guy's artillery, which, fine. That is, a, that is an issue. That is something you have to deal with. 
Oh, good Stuka Bomb knocks that out. But, uh, well played. Well played. Artillery coming down to kill this guy's bunker, and I'm assuming the support gun. Unfortunately, even though Sunny is, uh, losing a lot of his stuff. Oh, wow. Nice artillery hit. I'm assuming, yeah, it's the, the Soviet artillery. Good shots. Actually pushing it back. Again, you can also use artillery, the stationary ones, to push back armor. So, well, well played. Meanwhile, Bofors shooting down some aircraft, and as well trying to hold back to the Panzer IVs, which... As we just saw, not going to happen. And with that, I'm assuming General's dead. He has one bow for left, so easily the MVP of this game. Hold on. Are you... What rank are you? You are three... Oh, my God. What is this game? Oh, I didn't even notice that. I didn't even notice that. These are all top-tier players. These are all top-tier players. I thought these were, like, newer people. No. There's some... These guys should know better. What the fuck, General, are you thinking? Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, rank does not matter. Let's say it with me again. Rank does not matter. In terms of the prestige counter. Jesus Christ. That was utter, utterly terrible. Uh, now, nice job with the Soviets with the T-70. Once again, continuing to snipe. Managed to get two kills off these Volk squads. So, a good Varos, a good player, can easily, easily deal with... With, jo with, with Joan of Arc's attacks. Unfortunately, General, I don't know what, but... It, did someone steal his account? It, did, it, I'm, 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 I'm just curious. Meanwhile, again, good job with the Panzer IVs and the constant artillery. Which, by the way, good job with Sonny and Ranger for coordinating those assault artilleries to break up the fortifications in the sector. He only has a Royal Engineer squad left. Why isn't he deployed like a Churchill or something? Like, seriously. It's literally 2v3 right now. I actually think General would be better off if he quit so the AI would take over. Nice idea with the artillery preempting the Yag Tiger. Again, this Soviet player is not bad. Not at all. He's preempted the arti the, the armor push. He, again, he's also hitting the MG. So, again, he's trying to counter that. But, unfortunately... He has this shit to deal with. Oh, good. General finally left. And immediately the AI is like, I'll deploy a lot of units. Although I think uh, Churchill would have been way better. I, I really have no idea what General is doing. But that was utterly trash gameplay. I, I Again, I'll say it once. I'll say it again. Rank does not matter. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't blame Goo. I don't blame him for leaving. He's been pushed back quite a bit from the Econs artillery, and he, now he's dealing with an elephant. He's killed a lot of Ranger's infantry, and Sonny's infantry has been gone through hell as well, with his, uh, a lot of his Pounds of Fusiliers dying consistently. But nothing... I mean, at least he had armor to hold back. At least he's trying... T-70! Oh my... Hold on. I will go back to watch that. The T-70 helped kill the Yag Tiger. What the fuck is this game?! What is this game? Oh my god. Anyway, uh, yeah, Varu is easily one of the best players on the, uh, on the, uh, if the, the best player on the Allies by far. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Uh, yeah. So, rank does not matter. This, this ranking, the, you can play this game for so long and still play like shit. Uh, meanwhile, again, good job on the Axis team. Uh, again, Joan of Arc could have been a little better in terms of, I think, some unit preservation. Uh, same thing, although, same thing with Sunny. I think Sunny lost quite a number of men and armor alike. Um, but what I will say is they at least kept, they at least kept in the fight. They at least tried. Even though they weren't maybe the best, they still tried. Ranger did a lot better with his armor, though I think his infantry still also suffered a little bit. But again, some casualties is normal in game, so I'm not even going to denounce any of that. They, they still played very well. Uh, Goo did very good on the fortified line and actually had a good overall unit preservation, especially versing a numerically superior German force. He entrenched, sure, but he also did well in holding against overwhelming amount of artillery and such. Soviet player Varus, easily. Very good with his preservation, kills, etc. Fucking T-70 for the win. I... Just GG. Just... GG with that T-70. Easily my favorite vehicle in, you know, the game. Second would be the Verkadmorfer by Joan of Arc, which also showed General's fortification uh, gameplay was utterly trash. I, I don't understand it. I really don't. Don't do that. Don't fortify, like, that sporadically and just poorly, please. Especially when the enemy has artillery. 
<sighs> but in any case, that's game. If you have a replay that you want to submit to me, submit to GreyShotProductionGmail.com and I'll take a look. But otherwise, it's been GreyShot17, and I'll see all of you next time. Hello everyone, before you guys go, I want to give a special shout out to Patreon supporters Malam, JoeyG240, Streaking Wookie, Spartacus, Rifle, Pyroshark, Ollie, Junior Chicklist, Ion, Ace, Ranger412, Jacob Oswai, and GTA. Thank you all for your amazing support, and thanks again to the patrons as well down below. It's been GreyShot17, and I'll see all of you next time.